Hello and welcome back. Today, we're gonna mess with the Z-Hop setting in Cura and see if we can print an inlay of sorts. For that, I've got two examples here, but we're gonna start with the Batman symbol, of course. First, we're gonna make these a little bit bigger. An important thing to point out is that I'm using a 0.4 nozzle, so I've made the inlay part of this 0.4 millimeters thick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and resize the background and then duplicate the inlay and line it up with the background. And then turn it into a hole and group them. All right, that's all we need to do in Tinkercad, so let's export these and jump over to Cura. Okay, now in Cura, I have the inlay loaded up first, and the only problem I had, which you may run into if you have any kind of bed leveling before every print, like the CR6SE does, it touches the center of the bed before it prints. So I had to go ahead and move this down about 35 millimeters. Just remember that because since I moved the inlay down 35 millimeters, I now have to move my background down 35 millimeters as well. All right, now that I've done that, I want to go up into the profile and search for Z-Hop. Mine is already checked, but go ahead and check this box and make the height the same height as your inlay. If you remember, mine was a 0.4, and that's it. You can slice and save. Now, just for ease, I went into my SD card and named the files 1 and 2, 1 being the inlay, 2 being the background, just to make sure I don't accidentally start printing the wrong one the first time. All right, now let's print. Okay, let me uh, just cut in here and mention a couple things. First off, I could have turned the skirts off. I mean, it doesn't hurt that they're on. I just have to be careful not to nudge the actual print when I remove it in between prints. So it's really entirely up to you if you want to keep them on. It doesn't bother me, and it also reassures me that the previous color is fully purged. The other thing I wanted to mention was that I flipped the print bed over so that I could print on the plain glass on the backside for a smoother finish. How I made it stick to the glass was just pouring on some generic 70% rubbing alcohol while the bed was hot and wiping it away with a microfiber cloth. That's it. So if you want to give it a try, it should be that simple, but as always, your results may vary. Okay, and after I finish the inlay portion of the print, I quickly go to the settings and hit preheat PLA just to keep everything hot, and then I change the filament before starting the next print. All right, now if you watch the nozzle, it will randomly lift up and go over the inlay part of the print. This would be more noticeable on something where the inlay portion isn't solid, like the next example that I will show you. But let's watch this one play out in a quick time lapse. And it turned out great, but let's check out the other one, just so you can see that nozzle jumping around a bit more. And it turned out great as well. Alright, that's all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something. 
Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever.